Sometimes uh, a drawing will have uh, disproportionate elements and it doesn't mean that I didn't have some reference I was looking at. It could just be that the way I saw the image, I drew the heads too long or, you know, distortion of my own interpretation of life. And then there's also the drawing I do out of my head that's always integrated in this stuff that could just be poor, you know, bad rendering of things. It happens all the time and you don't necessarily see it at that time. Like I was just looking at a Batman painting I did that was the back cover of my uh, mythology book and his forehead keeps going and going and the top of his head is like another inch or so longer than his head should be. And I can't go back and fix that now. All I can do is try and learn and apply that to the new work I do today. So, you know, it just, it smarts when you think like, God, I put all this work into that thing. I wish it was perfect, but you know, it is what it is drawings you did as a kid, you can be forgiving from the crudeness. Uh, the problem is, is that when you're looking at stuff you've done as a professional, as an adult, you wince at the things you think like, oh, I can tell that's a bad shape or a bad rendering or, you know, you, you recognize the failures and you wish that your professional life was somehow unmarred by any amount of failure. And the thing is, there's lots of failure along the way that gets chronicled and has to be, you know, we got to show the good with the bad too. But of course, I want to favor attention towards things where I think they hold up better over time and some pieces do. The sizable difference between the kind of body of work that I did with DC versus Marvel and since I did so many illustrated books with DC, illustrated stories, it would seem like I put so much more work in their hands than with Marvel, but over the last 25 years, I kind of started my career with Marvel, did my first breakthrough work with them, and uh, the amount of pages, illustrations, posters, prints, all these things, and statues that I've been involved with have accumulated to quite a level that it's actually a sort of point for point comparison between the two publishers. So it's an interesting thing, a yin and a yang of my workload.